Hey y'all, what's up? It's Caroline again. Um, so I wanted to do a tutorial for y'all today. Um, this is going to be on several different products that are um, new and then some of them are like products I've had for a while that are like my favorite. I'll tell you what's new and I'll tell you what I've had for a while. Um, okay, so first of all, I'm going to pull my hair back. I got this little thing. Look, it has roses on it on each side. It's cute. I got it from JCPenney's. Well, I was over there shopping at Sephora. The first thing we're going to do is go in with some skincare. So, I wanted to show y'all what I use. I've been using this forever and ever and ever since like high school. And I'm 33 right now, so that tells you how long. It's the Mary Kay Time Wise Moisturizer. And it's Age Fighting Moisturizer. I've kind of switched depending on my skin. I was using, they have normal to dry and then combination to oily this right here is combination to oily so that is what I'm going to use my skin is like kind of doing weird things I don't know okay but I've already washed my face with um, the cleanser that goes with that the time wise cleanser three in one exfoliating microbeads I'm just gonna put this all over my face and rub it in okay and then the next thing this right here is actually brand new okay because i want to do a product review but i'll just do it right here um instead of you know because i don't have the whole skincare lines that they have that they recommended but the, derm the dermatologist recommended for my pimples and my oily skin um he said that i was creating more oil because my body thinks i'm dehydrated and so it's kind of weird, like I'm secreting oil and stuff like that because my skin needs hydration. I don't know. So they recommended this and I bought it at Ulta and this little jar was expensive. It's a tiny little jar. It's called Paracone MD Cold Plasma. You put it on the morning and the nighttime after your moisturizer. And you're supposed to use their stuff, but she said it would still work anyway. And I do see a difference. There's less oil on my face using, you know this at least added with it so you just take it and this is also like an age fighting product I just take like that much like this and just kind of like stiff pull it everywhere for I feel like it's you know everywhere and then just like rub it around okay now we're gonna go in with um, here's a product that I really love it's one of my favorites it's Milani prime correct but they have different ones this one is the face primer that corrects redness it's oil free plus it's pore minimizing so let's see Etch. and I'm going to put some on my chin. I get oily. I get kind of oily right through here and on the sides of my nose. Of course, on the top of my nose and straight up through here onto my forehead. Okay, and then right here on my cheeks to fill in my pores and just slide it around. Okay, my other new first impressions is this sponge right here this is a l'oreal infallible sponge another first impression i'm about to go in with is the la girl hd what does that say pro coverage hd high definition long wearing illuminating foundation and i'm in the shade natural so um, but yeah, I bought this right here and it was not that much. It was less than $10. I don't remember exactly, but it was less than 10 and I just got it. So this is a first impression right here. We'll see how that does. Comment below if you have this foundation and if you like it. Okay, let's go ahead and I'm going to do like I just always do. Okay, that looks really good. Now we're going to go in with some concealer to brighten it up 
First impressions, I love this foundation. They weren't kidding when they said it was full coverage and that it covers because I don't see any of my melasma, which is a good thing. So love this. Comment below if you have this and you love this and you like using it. Okay, now we're going to go in with our new Instant Age Rewind Maybelline Eraser Dark Circle Treatment Concealer. And this is the color Fair Claire. It looks just like this. Okay, and what you do is you just, the little sponge on the tip. When I sanitize them, I have a bottle of alcohol spray right here. I'll show y'all. I put alcohol in here, this little spray bottle, and I always spray it. It's already been clean, so I don't need to do it, but I spray it right after I use it, so it's been sprayed from the last time. And I just spray the sponge, and then I just set it straight out like this and let it dry, and when I feel it's dry, I put the lid on and put it up. So that's how you can sanitize any kind of makeup products that you're applying that have a sponge and you're worried about bacteria. Get you a little, some alcohol, rub an alcohol in a bottle, and just spray the tip down, okay? There's a little tip right there that you can do to sanitize it. Okay, so now I'm going to just roll this up. Okay, and get some product. Okay, so far I am loving everything. If you can see it, I don't know if, hold on. I think it looks so pretty. Okay, now the next thing we're gonna do is go on with some powder. B Bella brush, RG204. Right here, this powder brush, okay. I just go over it like that. Okay, I really like how this looks so far. Um, I know I'm pale because of the powder, but it always makes you look lighter. Um, the next thing we're going to go in and do is our brows. So, the product that I like to use, which is one of my favorites, is the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil. And I am in the shade number three, I believe. Yes, three like fill them in with this um, I just kind of like lightly go over it I don't spend a lot of time on my brows but somehow they end up looking good in the end so I don't like shape them and all that and you know I just like however they grow like that's how they grow like they're honestly they really don't grow that much my hair doesn't grow that fast either and I take vitamins and everything and I don't know what the deal is but Everyone always thinks that I get my eyebrows waxed so thin and I'm like, dude, I didn't even get them waxed. Like, they just don't grow. The Brow Gal by Tanya Crooks. I love this. It says it's for people with brown hair. And um, there's three different, like, little shades there. I like to use this shade and then go over it with this shade because you see how dark my hair is. This is my natural dark brown hair color. I like to get them dark like that. And you can use these wet or dry. It's awesome. But on the back, it shows for brown hair and I'm in the color too. The last step that I like to do is this. I actually just got this so I'm just going to like review it for y'all. This is if I can get the lid off this is a little retractable um, brow wax and it's just clear. Um, y'all should give this a try. It's really reasonable. It's by City Colors. You're going to be seeing me use a lot of their products because I really love their stuff. You can go online and get their stuff from City Colors. I really like that product and I like how that looks. And okay, let's see. The next thing we're going to do is this is um, Skinny and Long Lip Pencil by JCat. It's brand new and I just got it. So this is a test review. We're going to see how this does. Um, this is the color Pius. That's weird. And here's how it looks. And I got it to match the lipstick that I'm using. So that's right there. Okay. So we're just going to apply that. I keep wanting to look in the viewfinder, dude. Okay, let's put that on. Oh my 
my gosh, I love this lip liner. It is so beautiful. My favorite lipsticks. Okay, we're going to go in with Milani. And this is the color Adorable. Okay, and this is a matte. And they smell like whipped vanilla, and I'm obsessed. I love the way they smell. They smell so good. Okay. Okay, there it is. It looks so pretty. I love it. Okay, then we're going to go in with some Wet n Wild Pearlescent Mega Glow Highlighter. This thing is cheap and it is good. Let me tell you, it's real good. Mm -hmm. Let me do a swatch for you. Okay, there's like a swatch of it. You can see it. See how shiny that is? That thing is like boom in your face. Like, psh, psh. okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take the highlighting brush that I like. This is by Real Techniques. And this is actually like a setting brush, but I don't use brushes for what they're supposed to be used for. I use them for whatever I want to use them for. So, yeah, there are no rules to this. You can do whatever the heck you want. And it has lipstick on my teeth. So, a flattering. Okay. So, we're going to take this brush by Royal Techniques, and we're going to swirl it in there. And we're going to highlight our face. So I'm pretty and then what I do is um, okay see how the highlighter I have texture on my face because I'm getting older okay I'm not like the little 18 year old that I once was where is my brush there it is I'm gonna take this brush that I got that I am loving it's a highlighting brush uh -huh, but I'm gonna use it for blush so it's not for blush it's for highlighting but I'm gonna use it for what I want to use it for so this is from elf and I love it. It was like three bucks. Awesomeness. And then I'm going in with one of my favorite colors. Milani Baked Blush. And it's Luminoso. So we're just going to go in like that. I just do the front and the back. And then like tap it off just a couple times. And then where is my mirror? There we go. Oh, that looks very pretty see it's like a subtle look and it goes with the lips and everything love it so far um i love this palette right here it came in a boxy charm and it is really good it's a highlight and contour palette by iby beauty there's the colors right there you have three different highlighting shades one two and three okay so we're going to go in with a contour color and then we're going to use one of the highlighters that I want to choose to like carve it out on the bottom. Okay, let's see. Um, let me see. Where's my brush? Okay. I like to use this one. It's from Ulta. It's a blush brush, but huh, like I said, I don't use them for what they're used for. This is a blush brush and I'm going to use it for contouring because I love it. But it's like soft and fluffy not too big not too small just the right size you know so okay what we're gonna do is go in there's contour one two and three we're gonna go in with contour number two this one right here this color okay so we're just gonna take it like this and
number three. This one right here. And then we went in with the second one. So I'm gonna do these two. Okay, so I'm just gonna take it like this. Right here, starting at the bottom. And go over it. And it'll like lighten it up. Looks really pretty. Everything looks really, really pretty. So this was the look of these products that I wanted to show you. I know it's not a full face, but I'm kind of breaking it up in segments. I wanted to show you these um, products um, that you may have never seen and the ones that are new to me. But um, I'm going to do an eyeshadow tutorial look following this video that will be up after this one of my eyes. And yeah, I'll reveal which palette it is that I'm using. I'm just going to wing it. I don't have a plan, but I'm just going to go with it and see what colors I want to use and whatnot and just make a look out of it. Thank you for watching. If I don't see you soon, then I'll see you later. And peace, thumbs up, and I'll see you on the flip side.